franchise turns 50 years old this year, and now we're getting a unique look at the life of one of the actors from the original series, of course, from the 1960s. DeForest Kelly, up close and personal, gives us a behind-the-scenes look at the actor, and it was written by a woman from Western Washington who became friends with Kelly while living in Cle Ellum. Please welcome to the show author Christine M. Smith. How are you? Thank you so much. It's so much. good to meet you. Thank you. So it's such an interesting story. How did you come to know this man? He was going to be in a parade in Wenatchee, Washington. I was a brand new driver, scared to death to drive, but <laughs> I was going to drive to this big town from Cleelum. Because you liked him. Because I liked him, and I really just wanted to see him go by. I just wanted to see the parade go by and say, there he is. But as luck would have it, when I got there, parked the car and headed toward the parade route, the limousine for Mr. and Mrs. DeForest Kelly's Star Trek was parked there on the side of the road. And I thought, you know, if I loiter shamelessly, maybe I'll get and actually get a chance to see him and not yeah. just walk in, watch him go by. So we did. We waited and waited. And finally, he came out. And I was af almost afraid to meet him because you can be disappointed when you meet right. somebody. You liked him. You were I a fan, liked him. And, and I really him didn't want to be, nice be disappointed. Yeah. So I really hung back for a little bit. And I just watched him interact with other fans. I thought, how you know, he's being essentially accosted. He gets into a vehicle ready to go to a parade and a bunch of people crowd around him. How is he going to respond to that? He was so amazing. He had a career before Star Trek, but he didn't become a household name before, mm -hmm. until Star mm -hmm. Trek. So this was like amazing for him too, you know, to be recognized and to be, anyhow, I just hung with him for a while and watched and I just, he's totally soul of the earth. And so I, you know, screwed up my courage to ask him for an <laughs> autograph, spent just brief seconds. And then on the way home, I went, I've never met anybody as typically Southern gentleman as he was. He was just so appreciative and friendly and just amazing. So I, there was a creative writing assignment due. And I thought, I'll write an assignment called how clever is this? The real McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> about meeting him. Right. And the teacher liked it so much. He said, why don't you send a copy to Mr. Kelly? And I went, I don't write the movie stars. You know, but you he, did. And he said, you know, look, if you impress somebody, obviously, as much as he impressed you, wouldn't you want to know? And mm -hmm. I went, yeah, but he's an actor. He probably hears a 10 dimes a day. Well, he just pulled rank on me and said, send it. So I sent it. And I figured a secretary would see it. He wouldn't see it. What am I worried about? His wife was his secretary. Oh. <laughs> and she says, Dee, take a look at this. And they sent it to TV Star Parade, a New York publisher. And they wanted to publish it as, as a special holiday issue that year. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and he got oh, back in touch with you. He did. He got back in touch to let me know. My parents had to peel me off the ceiling. I was <laughs> so excited. Because I'd wanted to be a writer, but I was a kid living in the sticks. and. I had a couple years of the writer magazine, but I didn't know that I was ready for that. And you guys kept in touch. We kept and you in got touch. To know yes. him, and you know, so he's not. Um, he is one of the the major characters from that show that people Correct. always have a favorite, and he was your favorite. Correct. So, what made you want to write the book? Did you know there were others of us out there who liked Bones a lot? Well, no. I'll tell you what happened was D gave me permission to write the the uh, evolution of our friendship. Mm -hmm. And he also wanted me to write his biography. And I thought, I'm an anecdotal writer. I'm not a researcher or an interviewer. I couldn't do what you do in a million years. Yes, you could. You know? And I, I gave that to someone else. I gave the research, uh, the biography mm -hmm. to someone else. And she went out and she contacted all of the people that I was supposed to contact. And she got that all done. And she says, OK, well, you're with him the last three months of his life. I need to talk, interview you. And I went, OK. She sits me down and she asked me a question I couldn't answer. Of all the questions you could ask me about DeForest Kelly, the can question I couldn't answer. She said, how did you go from becoming a fan on the outermost reaches of fandom to being at his bedside when yeah. he passed away? And I went, but herein That's is the reason something? you should read the book. Yeah. <laughs> you should read the book. Well, he said, you know, I, I just. I didn't know. And she said, you know, you just need to connect the dots. And right. I'm a journalist, and I've been writing, so I just went back into all my and journals and connected the dots, and there it was. So it I've is. got to recommend this book yes, for people. You. And as a bonus for our studio audience, everybody's going home with a copy of DeForest <laughs> Kelly, up close and personal. They're excited Thank about you. that. Thank and you. we'll be right back. So nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank that you. That was great fun. Thank Thank you. Good. Good. All right.